Plona le paia ma wa lunga o sa mo wa poto poto. Plona le papa le nga e e le su o lau sunga tai tai o sa uninga lau sunga si a osi sa le sulu. Tu lau na le fala le se e le fio lau wa fionga le minista o tanga te ta fa mai mo mai fafo lau wa fionga tai o sulu Cedric o se Schuster. Tu lau na le sa fa inga mamalu. A tato fa masino ila wa fiona ila fa masino tayulu malo awa. Tu lona le sa fa inga mamalu sa mo le atu nu tofi. E afu a mai le malai tele na ma ape ai tofi ngo le motu sa se ia o o i ana lenga na mau ai malo ai valo i ai le sului o sa mo ai ave o le tala le lei. Opa ia awa tama ma ai nga ai nga fo i malo to tama. Beu song a tu mua ma pule, i tu au ma la taua, a inga i le tai ma le vaa o whono ti. A e a pa ia o le tātou whai ngā ma lo i sasai. A wā sua ma le vai whanua, o fō ma i tu langi, i tu au ma le a la taua, sa ole ma sa le au mua, ma le lau niu na sa e lua. A fio mai le la au nā mo tasi, a fi fio fa atui ma feta lai ngai to o to o, Ma upu i a te oe le manu a teli. A e ufa a maa lo le soifua maua ma le langi mama. Pa a fetai i le alofa o le atua o le a ua tau lau o le fa a moe moe sa a fa uao, fa upo. Ma e a oai o no tātou fa a fo i le fa a fetai ma le vi inga i le e ou manu. A wa ana le se a noa lo na alofa tuli tuli loa. E tātou te le pe nei le a so. Excellencies, esteemed colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all this evening on behalf of the governments of Samoa and Onomea Productions. Good evening, greetings and a very warm welcome. Our program this evening begins the official Digicel Miss Samoa pageant competition for the next two days, culminating in the Miss Samoa, in the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant crowning night on Saturday, the 9th of September, 2023. As your organizers for the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant, community engagement and ownership is a key consideration in our planning, recognizing our communal existence as a collective and our roles and responsibilities as families and village communities in nurturing and raising our young Tamaitai Samoa. And so it was only appropriate that we begin this pageant with a strong community engagement component, including the pre premier night this evening. We envisage that your engagement is not just about the collective ownership of the Miss Samoa platform, but more importantly, your engagement is symbolic of your tapua inga and prayerful support so that these brave young women will have the confidence and support towards achieving their goals having entered the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant this year. Ladies and gentlemen, we will begin with our opening sermon and prayer in accordance with our Samoan customs. Sa ita ina ili sunga fa fianga inga tau ili langi ali eka ali siya fa poto potonga keri siano sa moi vailele le pa iya wale fio le oloa male fale fio ali i lo oto ma apu malanga ta iyalam ala la ta isa le polu su mai ala sunga fa fianga inga mole ta to sa ni ngalo tu. E momori alo iyale. Angango le faafetai i le ono mea production. Molo wawa noa, male amana ia ina fo i o loutangata fatau waa. E tai ta i le tatou sauninga i le nei afi afi. Pa mole mole, mea o faiatu e faapea, pati mai tatou umma fa mole mole. Held up. Held up. Faafetai. I've always wanted to do this as um, I never got to be the host of Miss Samoa. Talo Falava, my name is Siosi Salisulu. I hail from the beautiful villages of Vailele, Apolima, and Nepa. 
I'm 51 years of age. I am married with three children. I am proudly sponsored by Pino Clean and Fabuloso Samoa, and I am your current Mr. Samoa. That's one off the bucket list and never to do again. <clears throat> Ole atato tapo wa yatu ile atua. Amu yele tangata ele samali ili filifilinga e a miole anga. Ele tufoi o yele ala o e angasala. Ele no fufoi o yele no foa o e ta wembu. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers. Ole salamu le nei wata uroto de totele. Wala ula vivilu fo ye tangata kirisiano. Wa fai mata uroto ma sani ala fa nau. Wa o maya le nei afi afi. Tita to to ma natu ma ma fau fau. Ona ove ape o lo fau nga. Ma uti ma natu fo i etele fo i se fe au. Ele ngata mo i lato o lo tauva. Auta tau fo ile au fa longo longo ma le auta puai. Pai mai le fai salambo. Amu ia. Amu ia. Blessed. Amu ia le tangata e le samali. Ile filifilinga e a mio le anga. Ele tu fo i o ia le ala o e anga sala. Ele no fo fo i o ia le no fo a o e ta wemo. E so e fua mai lava le samboa. Mai le lai titi, sa yo lava i le teimi, e fai eilona a inga. O le tau loto a le atua a ama ma atua. Va ailo sa vali. Tu falelei. Tu sao. Tu ma losi ma fi nau. Au ole pala ai. Va ai po o sao lo nofo. E fa pe na foi. Se tu a lalo ma se fau tu anga. Mole o le avea ma tau sala sa moa, mole nei tau sanga. E te savali, savali ma le toa, ma le mauti noa. E te le savali ma le fa maualunga, ma le anganga fia tangata. E te tu ma alosi, mo me te sila fia, e te tauna e fi na wai. E te nofo le lei foi ma nofo ma malu, e tu sai ma le fa sa moa. Being Samoan is knowing how to walk in the world of Fatsamoa. Walk with confidence, yet with grace and poise. We walked with character, we do not walk with arrogance. Being Miss Samoa is to know how and where to sit. For many, we now sit in these places of respect but our journeys began in the kitchens, serving our elders and our people. Wano nofo le tootele i nofo a ia, ai na amata i le tautua ma le au au nanga. For our non-Samoan language speakers, what is the opposite of perfect? Beautiful. No one is perfect but we can make the choice to be beautiful in our nature and what we do. Do not aim to be perfect. There is only one who is perfect. But let us be the opposite of perfect and let us be beautiful. Ladies of Miss Samoa 2023, they say beauty attracts the attention and the eyes of many but personality captures the heart. O le au le lei, e ave u mai fofonga ma mata le atu nuu. Ono le au le lei. Au le au le lei o le anganga. E tapu e ai loto ma anganga a utangata. Being Samoan is not a trend. It is not even a passing or fleeting fancy. Being Samoan is a choice. It is a mindset. It is an attitude. Through your words and actions, you encapsulate. 
e te maua ai le anganga e a vea i oe malelale lei po le tau sala sa moa. I don't like the term beauty pageant. And I don't think this is a beauty pageant. I think Miss Samoa is a celebration. It is a celebration of what it is to be Samoa. But may the perafeta o mika. Se a foi se mea fina ngalo eile a li'i ya te oe. Pe a leo ia mea. Ia faile a mi o tonu. Ia nau nau i le alofa. Te o a i malo watua. Ma le loto mawalalo. O le o le a avea. Ma tau sala sa a moa. Lua a fe luos fun ma le tonu. O o e lava e te feo a i ma le atua. O o e fo i e maua le loto fa a maua lalo. Nau nau i le alofa. Fa i le a mi o tonu. Ia manuia tele le tātou wa fiafi, te a tātou te tānu. Te a tua siri siri e se, o e lava le tupu o e o tupu, o le ali i fo i o ali i, e i fo ma vivi i mea umana e faia e lo wa fio. Ma tou te tāpua i atu i le loto ma le anganga e tasi, ba fitai tele te maa, Mā tau whei loa i fia fia mau tangata, ai mei se fo i lā tau o loa si asi mai, mai atu nuu ma mao. Pā whetai ma ia sanga whā manu wina lo suwafa pa ia, pā whetai i lo ta mao a inga le tino, le mā fau fau ma le anganga. Pā whetai i lo tus pa ia, o le tus i lea e whā poto ai o mā tau tangata, Pā whetai loa nganga pa ia le mātou whesoa soa ni sili. O le whā whetai sili o Iesu Kiriso, loa mātou ali i whāola. O le ena maliu ina ia whā maanga loa ina i o mātou sese mo mātou leanga. Tu mau au tupea i loa whio le bi inga, ma le whā manu nei sa io o le whā vavau. Pe a tua tali manā oe, o oe lava e mali a i o mātou manā o i mele lei u ma lava, Le lingi maia lau manuia, o loa fauma soloi i lau nofo ali'i, ina ia tofu sia e o mātou tangata nei. Pā manuia i lau atu nuu, ai mei se foi o lātou taitai, ia avea ma se atu nuu, e te fia sila sila mai ai. Pā manuia i lātou uma, o loa tauvā mo le misa moa lua fe lua se furu ma le tolu, Ai mei se fo le tāpua inga o lātou a inga woma e māsani. Pa manu i atu foi i le ono mea productions o lo whā fo ina le nei whā moe moe. O mātou te tālo le atu wai i e whā manu i atu i tangata Samoa uma ai mei se fo i lātou o lo au mau i atu nuuma mau i e whā loa loa peo a au a lofa i lunga i a i lātou. O le mātou te tālo lea E ala atu i lau suafa pele, Iesu. Amen. Paftai. O le aua mai au na popmoli la falafau malo e ala i le tātou wha amua ma le tātou wha asangi. E peio na fi tai tu ngai le sunga le tai tai o le tātou sao ninga. Ia ua talinga la wha fia whaalongo Ia le mamalu o le au fia nei, a o tāla tāla la ua fionga i la u sunga le whaafia ngainga le a fionga pa ia le a tūai moli moli mai eilo na fina ngalo mo i tātou i le nei a fiafi. Sa o se taimi, sa o noa le a fionga le ministra e a nga tonu ai le mana vanga pa ia. Ai o la mātou ta tālo i a utu pupu i na pea le a tūa la utu, a wā le whea nga i ai ma le tāua swina o le ipu o le ola, ai meise o le taita ina o la na lafu mā moe. Ladies and gentlemen, our keynote address will be delivered by the Honourable Minister for Tourism. O le tātou sao noa nga autu, e te tala i nga loa i ai, le tātou polo kalame, o le a sao noa ai, le a fionga le minista o tangata ta fao mai moa mai fafo, le a fionga te o sulsulu, Cedric Pose Schuster, o le paia la valea a wale a fio te o le paia li'i ma sa atuala, a la la ta'i va a ili, le nofua fuaiala, le lautina lau le lei ma le falea ana. 
Afio mai ala wa fio ngal minister mo lau sao no anga otu. Ele seu fonga faina afia si mau lulunga fa kenei. Wa wa tuele tau tai yole ngafo. Afa lepa ile ulungalu tele tau tai. Oleh ciuma masing-masing. Ewi na fufu, upu epau le tatangata. Afa tili lava ile fufu le cai cai yali. Ewi masawai la tato fufu langa. Itu watu malfa alu alu ili afi afi na sema. Awa por kalam memorsa ilia oleh cai sala usamu. Olea, oce le coe caya le la le ao maunga lua. Pe oce coe, ta tala le ta afi tua lua. Na ifo ai le aso, ole a inga sa sa umani. A wapa ia sa usa unga tama ma malu tu mawo sa mua. Ua e e ma papa ao. Ta o to ia, a e ose ele ele o fa to to ifo ili sao. E motu fo i, a e ose fulu ula ua ma na ia. Pakca lolo lah ia, awa upa iyo samua upopu. Olea uama liel sil mayo, epe yo le cala ya sale au mua. Uama cai fia va va ai, ai cai nga fo ile ile uma ile fia fa alung alungu. Awa olea uasila sa angale lu canga ufai va le manusina. Awa le va inga mua mua le nei, mula sa ilia, ose cai sala u samua. Ole manu lau cipo le manacu au cu ole catu cau wanga ile nei cau sanga le ono mea wa cu ayai le maca ina mal mamalu ole cama ica isa mua ile ole fale a ole ano fale ole ala lea wasir sila ma wa ile ono mea production mo se aso fa pitoa e fa ta ua ina ile ano fale dia wa au nga ia ile nei ya fiafi. Ole cape nanga fa anu fale ale cama ica isa mua. Ea ofi ailo na cama ali inga. Olo na fa sinumanga. Ona na fa tausi. Ola na anga nuu. Oana ma tafa yoi ole malu o a inga. Ae sili sili. Oanga tau sili. Ea ona avea ma fa avae mau tu. E tapu e na aile so ifua tupu tupu ae. So se ta mai ta isa mua. O le fai ae se ta si vae. O le fai ae se ta si vae nga o le tau vanga ili nei a fiafi. O se ta si fo io sui nga fou. E fa ta u ae e le ono mea produksi. Le maua lea o ava noa mo le atu nuu lau tele. E mo li maui na ae le sa ili nga tau sala. E fiafi a fo ili a nga nga ua ma fai ona a wai le ta tau tau vanga. Se ta mai ta i. Ia iso na afianga tumau. O se matati a fou. Poi, e ata ngi ai le mawae. O le so i fua tau mafai. O alo mafana o sa mua. Ia manuia le faa moe moe mota mai tae o filifilia mo le nei faa moe moe. Faa pere nga alwe nga fita. O le afia ngai mafaa masino o filifilia. So i fua ma ia manuia. Reverend Sansu, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Taroka, tarofa and welcome one and all to the first night of the Miss Samu pageant. Our gathering this evening is symbolic of our collective role as a community and as a nation to nurture and support our young ones in whatever path they choose as part of their development as young people. Our 10 brave contestants who have put their hand up to compete in this year's Digisound Miss Sambo pageant 
is evident of the upbringing and the families and village communities that have raised them. It is also a clear reflection of our Sambu cultural values that guard everything we do, including how we raise our children, <coughs> towards ensuring that they can pursue their chosen paths in life with the knowledge that they will always have their support system behind them, as they are part of a family, a village, and of course, their nation. For such is the essence of their sense of belonging as Samoans. As highlighted throughout the events building up to this evening's program, Miss Samu Pageant is an important platform which seeks to, em to empower and to advocate for key development issues that are impacting our Samoa's pathway to sustainability and growth. We trust that the program in which our contestants have engaged in, beginning from last week, <coughs> has been about learning and discovery and that our contestants have realized the importance of this opportunity as part of their learning as young women aspiring for great things in life. As Minister of Tourism and Chairman for the pageant, I wish you all the very best as you journey through the significant parts of your development as a young Tamai Taisan War. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I acknowledge that this evening's program would not have been possible without the support of our naming rights sponsor, Digicide, and all the partners and sponsors who have kindly offered to support this work. We acknowledge your patronage and we thank you for your sponsorship, which has helped us put this event successfully. I also acknowledge our hard work of Onomia production team in planning and convening this platform for 2023 despite the time and resource constraints. We welcome the creativity and innovation that is reflected in the way this year's pageant has been framed and designed. And we look forward to greater things along this journey for the rest of the week and over the next two years. Ladies and gentlemen, as chairman of the pageant and as minister of tourism, it is my pleasure to officially open the Digital Miss Sam War Premier Nights Event 2023. Enjoy the evening. So, for my Emanuel, God bless. Here, only now, I'm out to watch us out on my two pala pala. I like the sound of my tongue of fear. I left young El Minister. But my lord, sound of my tongue of fear. I love young. Ia eto matawi na ile ni fa moe moe. Ola mata utatalo, ia alofangi ya leatua, umanwia, lo wa lo faiva, fa ale malo, ae meisi ya ulfeanga yae male tu malo, mato ufinga ulfeanga yae mala wafionga. Ia lepa i yae ole ao fia, ole awo mae ae ile uluwa ivaenga ole tata upolo kalame, ole ole ao tata usee atu ile autu ole ni fa moe moe. Ia manatu a o le ai o te le itu ua le mea nei e manatu so fata o va ai lei lava se fai vai asa ma se mau mau o se upu foi a o se ngana o le tau te mali i sau tau fa fonga fonga mai ia ma ngalo lava se le o le au au nai lau tau tau fa fa tupu a wai poto lava le tau tai ai le a tau ni a ilona va ia manu te le ina ngai ngai o te toi o tato por kalame ladies and gentlemen that concludes our formalities for the evening. The best part is about to begin. Thank you for your patience and for your kind attention. So if you are Manuia. So if we are Manuia Samoa, O Kasemata Mo Fiel Nea Fiafi, Le Lao Lao Manuia Wamaya Lea Tua, Malo Labla Soifua, Af Fio Mai, Zala Mai Aao, Yalanao Umatu, Papa Ua to Poiso, Tomatu, Palapale Lea Fiafi, Matele Toyo Oyai. 
Ya oleh saya milih nih, oleh acah cowok pulau ya, acah cowok pulau si Ahmad Zaliel acah cowok pulau kalami. Esa ilia ilah cowok salau sa moa mule lua afe lua colu, cali colu moa level no cowok fa acah cali ya. Ia oleh nih pulau kalami pulau acah cowok cowok salah, sa ilia cowok salah. Ia walang walang oi nama alosi el company file telefoni. Digital Samoa, yeah, va va lua. If I trust him, I'll make a Samoa. I'm just party party daily. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure indeed to be masters of ceremony for this year Digital 2023 beauty pageant. To begin our premier night for the Digital Miss Samoa 2023. It really warms our hearts to introduce the opening Siva for tonight. Performed by the 10 beautiful contestants, very brave ladies, who will be vying for the Miss Samoa title 2023-24. They will be accompanied by the contestants. They will be accompanied by the Anofale Mentorship Program Tamaitai, and also the Taimana Fire Knife Dancers. Tama Ita Isamoa. Sawia!
So we put what my my own. So shall I lay on it? Just a we are indeed at our 33 years of the Tewila Festival. Man, low level on the side. Next up, we have our introduction category. The ladies will come up and introduce themselves. Fatil <laughs> Esifulu valu wa utau sanga. Otisau mai sa tawa. Bai moso. Fasi to o uta. Alfenga. Elisifo. Bao bai. Matanga. Warm greetings, my beautiful Samoa. My name is Tishana Opelu and I am 18 years of age. And I am proudly sponsored by Lavash Katua. Fafatai Tele Lava. <laughs> Tashana Obelu is 18 years old and is one of four children of Shirley and Sam Obelu. She completed her year 12 studies last year and is taking a gap year to focus on truly find her interests for 2024. She's a proud member of Ekale Sia Palapos Motoma Gerisiano Samoa, Church George Hall, Sydney, Australia. Tashana is an office administrator and performs full time on weekends for Spirit of the Islands Dance Company in Sydney. Tashana loves traveling, performing, and meeting people from all walks of life. Her ambition includes acting and performing, and wish to pursue this as a full-time career. Tashana joins Miss Samoa to learn more about herself and her Samoan heritage. And of course, finding new opportunities arise, and she hopes to inspire the younger generations to never give up in pursuing their dreams. Thank you, contestant number one, Tashana Opelu, Miss Lavash Fatur. age of two and has been fully immersed in the Samoan culture through Mangana, 
education, and traditional duties, as it's Maita Isamo and her family, village and a Alice. Educated at Lea Unga Fama Salia Musao Savavau from the age of four by the prestigious Iono Dr. Fanafi, who took Moiloto under her wing and together with her late grandparents instilled the importance of language and culture and incorporating it into education. She is currently in her final year at the Little Mwema School of Fine Arts, where she is the only female student. Moiloto is also an entrepreneur with her own little business, Revitalize Samo Designs and Natural Beauty, where she hand makes products such as natural deodorants, coconut oil, LA, and her very own garments. It showcases her creativity and passion and helps pay for her school fees and materials. Moiloto loves dancing and singing with her ukulele. She is sponsored by Lotto Tao Agency, which is her mother's business and the name means Fighting Spirit and a combination of Moiloto's grandparents' name, Leala Iau Lotto and Tao Mate. Lotto Tao represents how hard Moiloto's grandparents work for a better future for their children. Whenever faced with challenges in life, Moiloto is reminded through Lotto Tao to keep fighting because hard work always pays off. She truly believes that through God, all things are possible. Thank you, contestant number two. Papetai, Papetai Lava, Boy Lotto, Lehula Lemamai, Vito Lia, Chelsea, Bulimina Tula Epa Tuitia, Miss Lotto Tau Agency. Lava <laughs> Eluas for Maletol, Wot Sao Sanga, Ot Sao Mai Alafua, Sale Moa, Nofoa Li, Lefanga, Lots of Fanga, Manano Utsa, Manono Tai, Maolo Langolangoina, Manmalo Siao, Eletain and Lay Creation, Maoa Awolo Sweet Sauva, No Meratolu. Helen Taufayu Estolo Lemisio was born and raised in Samoa her whole life. She is 23 years old, a proud Catholic in Lepea Parish, and the eldest of four children to Taumawai and Estolo Lemisio. She attended St. Mary's Primary School and St. Mary's College, which propelled her to the National University of Samoa, where she is currently studying a Bachelor of Arts degree majoring in English Literature, Pacific Studies, with a minor in Archaeology. To support her studies and family, Helen is an officer in a Chinese cuisine catering and the Pacific Freight Samoa agent located in Bailima and Samalalo. She is a fun and carefree soul who is all about positive vibes and enjoy making new friends and sharing the beauty of her Samoan culture. Tonight, she is proud to represent her family, her community, and is proudly sponsored by Tainelele Creations.
Thank you, contestant number three. Helen Taufayu is Tolo Lemisil. Miss Tele Lale Creation. Talofa, Talofa, Talofa Lava Samoa. O Lotwingoa, O Miracle Afele, Eluas Fuluono Tausanga, Oau O Telomonoa, Ma O Tesau Mainu O Siusenga, Batufuta Foy. Ma olo la ngo la ngo ina ma losia u ele asosi ole alfa liu ili nganga na fa tanga tamoa ma oau olo sui tava nu mera fa talofa talofa my name is miracle afile I am twenty six years old. And I am deaf. I am from the villages of Tsiusenga and Tufutafoy in the beautiful island of Savai. I am proudly sponsored by the Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters. And I am your contestant number four. Thank you. Miss Miracle Lafele is a 26 year old young deaf Tamaitai from the villages of Tuputa Voisavai and Siusena. She is a proud member of the Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters, a member of the Nua Nua Lealofa, the national advocacy organization of persons with disabilities in Samoa a founding member of the Samoa Deaf Association, a teacher aide at Senese Inclusive Education, and a member of the Apia Protestant Church Samoa. Her father is Seula Manutua Ainga Afele, and her mother is Perise Seula Afele, residing at Tuputa for Savai. And she has two sisters and three brothers. She was born in Samoa and moved to New Zealand in 1998. Miracle Lafale grew up in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and attended a special school for deaf students. She moved back to Samoa in 2010, where she attended Fatua to a Christian college. Miracle is currently working as a teacher aide for deaf students at Selese Inclusive Education Services, where she trains and leads the TVET program for deaf students. In the beginning of this year, 2023, Miracle had the opportunity to further her studies at the Australia Pacific Training Coalition, undertaking the Foundation Skills and Knowledge course, FSK, and will, gra uh, will graduate sometime this month. With the knowledge and skills she gained from the course she studied, she hopes to continue to support and assist other students who are deaf. Miracle's vision is to encourage and empower other young Tamaitai with disabilities in Samoa to participate in part of this great platform. Miracle advocates for the inclusion of all women with disabilities in Samoa and around the Pacific to stand up and make a change despite the many challenges they face and continue to face on a daily basis. Nothing about us without us. The 2023 International Week for Deaf People and the celebration of Sign Language Days theme is a world where deaf people everywhere can sign anywhere and sign languages unites us. These two highlights the meaning of inclusion by breaking barriers of accessing information and communication by the deaf community. 
As a member of Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters, she, alongside with other interpreters who are hearing, they hope to advance the importance of sign language interpreting as a profession in Samoa, thus enabling the deaf community to access equal opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, your contestant number four, Miss Miracle Afele, Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters. E mua mua ona o tsaia le puna o au. O pa ia sa tsua fa fa ma o ma malu le popo sa mo o potu potu. O lai tse le le na ma a pe ai le tso finga o motu sa. Tse ia pa ia na lenga sa tse o ai malo. A ve fe au le tsala le lei. O lo o tsalo tsalo ma tsui le muli papanga. A wa se manuia o sa mua. To low, to low, to low lava. Ale tio asa asa amali e tua i au O na o nu u tali ola A wa o sa amua o le atu nu u tofi E pa ia mai le vavau Se ia o o i le faa vavau O lea o te faa faa ta alofa Ma faa fei loa e atu ai I susu i susu ngao faa fei ngai nga ma o o tau fa le tua Le pa ia e faa masino fili fili a A e mai se le komiti faa foe o le nei pol kalame ma atu ngao fie Tupu ma e e o sa mo o boto boto O le a o le o o i o sa mo whainga Ina ne isasi singa ngana O na whaile a malape O lo u ingoa O cherish Fa a manu Ma naia E lua se fulu lima o u tsau sanga Ma o te sao mai i a la lafanga O ma alifa Nu sua tia Sa tu fia sa tu pa i tia Ma a sao i sa vai Ma o lo o lango lango i na o tangata nu o New Zealand as your Miss Samoa New Zealand and I am your contestant number five, Batsai Lava. Jerish Pamanu Manaya. Miss Samoa New Zealand is born and currently resides in Christchurch, New Zealand. She is 25 years young and daughter of Kalipo and Lina Manaya and the eldest of four siblings. Cheris hails from the villages of Malifa, Nuusuatia, Tatufia Satupaitea, and Asau from the Big Island, Savai. Cheris also holds a bachelor's degree in civil engineering and currently works as a flight attendant for Air New Zealand. Cheris loves to read and enjoys spending quality time with her family and her friends. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for your contestant number five, Jerish from Anumanaya. Miss Samoa, New Zealand. Wamoa! Hey, hey! Totoluma, Totoluma! Lele, we are going to be able to get to the Papa. Ua musa fo i fo nga ala sa na lala. A ta alo i vai le a ta ato le ta mao sa mo na nga lo. O te fa ta alo fa atu i afi o nga i fa a masino. O tupu ma e e o si o te ato o atu nuu. Le pa ia o le au fai nga luenga le a tu a i so se fa ta fai ta ulanga. Ma le ma malu o sa mo a ua poto poto i le nei a fi a fi. O au o vailei von Dinklage. E lua se fulu maleli mao tau sanga. O teine o le amo mua mai le tu malo malo si o anu amaa. Mai le afio anga o lua tu anu. Mai ai foi o fasi no manga. 
Inicio a fio anga, e au fia ai, ale loto fanga, a maile vaiusu, no foali tanga, male tau langa o sabai, fale alupo. O au o lau sui tau vanu meraono, ma ua ma fai ona o au ai mai, ile nei fa moe moe taua. Ona ole lango lango sua ale chat Samoa. Greetings and talo for lava, my beautiful Samoa. I am Violet Von Dinklage, 25 years of age, your tallest contestant for tonight. I am pleased to represent the district of Anuamaa from the village of Luatuanu. With family linkages to a maile loto fanga by yusu no fuali tanga and survive town area of Fale Alupo. I am your contestant number six, and it is an honor for me to participate on this platform through the support of a small creative business where little things matter. Jet Samoa. Samoa is the eldest of two girls who was raised by her maternal grandparents. She is a former student of St. Mary's College who graduated as a top student in media and journalism in 2019. At the National University of Samoa, she was fortunate to attain her diploma in this field with the support of her family. In 2019, she served an internship at the Pacific Corporation Foundation as a videographer and photographer, as well as working as a volunteer at the 2019 Pacific Games. Early on in her career, Baile had the opportunity to work with Tangata Pasifika, Sun Picks, and the Samoa Observer. She currently serves as an executive assistant in the C4U Finance and Technologies. Outside of her formal employment roles, Ms. Jan Samoa serves as a Sunday school teacher, choir member, and lector of word for the Luatua Luo Catholic Paris. Baile believes that joining the Alo Fale Mentorship Program has boosted, has boosted her confidence and courage to apply and participate in the 2023 Digicel Miss Samoa pageant, encouraging her to step out of her comfort zone to learn and grow personally and professionally. Ms. Jet Samoa is passionate about youth development and the areas of sports, health, and education. While she embarks on this year's Miss Samoa experience, Baile dedicates her journey to her late grandparents, the late Aeau and Selapi Avayu, Aviu, who have been her pillars of strength and inspiration throughout her upbringing. She also hopes to inspire the next generation of young girls and tamaitai in her village and communities to be brave and embrace every opportunity to thrive and be of service to Samoa. Your contestant number six, ladies and gentlemen, Vaile von Dinglich, Miss Jazz Samoa. Te fata alo faatu ile pa ia malmalo asamo o poto poto mai pa bea le pa ia o lau lau ifa masino ta alofa ta alofa ta alofa lava o lau ingo o siliva sia ea o luas fun maliono o tosanga ma o te sao mai sala ilua ma sa matsa isavai sa alua imanono matsa fele fele ya pia manu uuli i Amerika Samoa. Olo olango lango ina ma lo siau e enas ele ma oa o olo suitova new merfitu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and our beautiful esteemed judges. My name is Siliva Siaia. I am 26 years of age, and I come from the beautiful villages of Salailua and Samata in Savai, Salua in Manono, 
Matsa Felefele in Abia, and Nuuli in American Samoa. I am proudly sponsored by Enas LA, and I am your contestant number seven, Faftai Lava. Siliba is 26 years old and hails from the villages of Salailua, Samata, Saluai Manono, Mata Felefele Yapia, Manuuli i America Samoa. She is the youngest daughter of Reverend Mariota Siaea and Rosa Siaea, who is currently the minister of the Methodist Church of Mata Felefele and the superintendent of the Apia Sasai Synod. Siliba graduated from the National University of Samoa with a diploma in tourism and a bachelor in commerce, majoring in marketing and with a minor in management. She is an active member of the Mata Felefele Methodist Church, where she is a member of the youth, choir, women fellowship, and a Sunday school teacher. According to Siliba, she leaves to serve her parents, helping them with their everyday needs and taking care of them. Her hobbies include reading, dancing, singing. Siliba also using her TikTok account to showcase her passion and talent in sewing and crafting. And she is always eager to learn more. She plans to continue her education and continue to help her family, community and church. Siliba wishes to be a voice for those who are too afraid to speak for themselves and empower the younger generations to pursue their dreams and make a difference within the communities they live in. Her lifelong dream is to be a part of the Miss Samoa pageant, but now her dream has become a reality. She sincerely believes, if I can do it, you can do it too. Ladies and gentlemen, proudly sponsored by NSLA, contestant number seven, Siliba Siaya. Taoto ia fa angaluele fati. O sam fa inga samoa. O pa ia fa le tala le lei. O pa ia fa le balo. Ma o pa ia fa le atinu. Ole anu nu watu ia fa atinu o tau sala. A wai fa inga ta o samoa o le ao mamala. Too low ia, too low, too low na lava. I o te fata lo fa tu le pa ia mal mamalu ole au fia. A fionga i fa msino le mamalu o pisinisi ma kampani olo olango lango ina le nei fa mo e mo e. Wo ma a inga fa apea chama i chai la le le o le nei chau si fionga ta lo fa ta lo fa lava. I o te fia fa ai lo lo nei chang a fa chau va. Oa'u o Nicolina June Agui. E lua spul malfa o tausanga o te sao mai afio anga nei o safali'i. Saapotu, manga o tawai sava'i. Bata falilatai, le ulu moenga, tula ele matali matau. Oa'u o lau sui tawalu merabalu, ma olo o lango lango ina balo si nei a'u. Ela o company in sua número tasi Samoa, malela lo langiato a Pia Insurance Company. The 24-year-old Nicolina was born in Samoa, but spent most of her life in American Samoa. She is the eldest of seven children and a proud alumna of Tafuna High School in American Samoa and Samoa College in Samoa. Nicolina is a third year student at the University of Queensland in Australia. She is pursuing a bachelor's degree in political science and international relations. She enjoys spending time with her family and friends, dancing, reading, writing, and listening to music. Nicolina has always envisioned herself 
as a Samoan ambassador and inspiration for others. She gained the courage to buy for the Miss Samoa title this year after enrolling in the Anofale Mentorship Program with intentions of fulfilling her dreams to redefine herself as a Tamaitai Samoa and use this opportunity to discover her purpose in life. Ladies and gentlemen, your contestant number eight, the lovely Nicolina June Akui, Miss Abia Insurance Company. Talofa, talofa, talofa lava si o atunu pele o Samoa. Ai o te le ila ati le pa. Pa tu lo lava. O lo ingo o moe moana safa to a shwenki. E lua si pulu tolu o utau sanga. O te sau mai nu o awala a sau. Mata vai savai, mata ufusi, safa atoa, mamata utu ilefanga. Oa u le tau sala a New South Wales, my Australia. Oa u lo sui tau va, numera iva. My beloved Samoa, it is an honour to be standing before you tonight. My name is Moe Moana Safa Atoa Shwenki. I am 23 years of age. I hail from the beautiful villages of Awala, Asau, Matawai in Savai, and Taufusi, Safa Atoa, and Matautu in Lefanga. I proudly represent the Samoan community of New South Wales as Miss Samoan New South Wales, and I am your contestant number nine. Tatolumai, Tatolumai! <laughs> Moe Moana Shweki is a proud daughter of Samoa and Oceania. She was born in Samoa and raised in New Zealand and Australia. She is a performance artist, emerging writer, and director, Australian Museum employee, environmental advocate, cultural arts tutor, and Matavai Pacific Cultural Arts. She holds a Bachelor of Arts in Indigenous Studies and Environmental Humanities from the University of Wollongong. Moimona is the daughter of Fred Schwenke and former Miss Samoa and Miss South Pacific, Mary Jane Schwenke. The eldest of three siblings, Moimona teaches Siba Afi, Fire Naf Clans, Fire Knife classes at her family's cultural center, Bataavai, a space that promotes the positive fundamentals of Pacific cultures through dance, music, storytelling, and creative arts. She is currently employed at the Pacific Consultation and Research Officer at the Australian Museum, working closely with the Pacific collection of over 60,000 treasures, 500 of those treasures are Mersina Samoa. Some dating back to over 200 years. She works closely with Pacific communities to gain the cultural knowledge on our Mersina. Moimoana is a multifaceted artist known for her performances as a dancer, a fire knife performer. She has extensive experiences in various Pacific cultural arts and has represented the Pacific Islands internationally at events like the Te Maeva Nui in the Cook Islands, World Fire Night Dancing Championship in Hawaii. She lived in Tahiti, Fort Hava in Tahiti, and Te Wila Festival in Samoa. 
Her first runner-up placement in the World Knife Fire Knife Championship in 2019 has earned her international acclaim as female fire knife pioneer. Moimoana is an environmental advocate. She has been a representative for Samoa and the Pacific in United Nations forums such as COP26 with the Pacific Climate Warrior Youth Delegation. At the heart of Moimoana's mission is to empower the youth. She believes in mobilizing youth, young talents to address the social, political, and environmental challenges facing the Pacific. Her first theater production, Motu of Western Sydney, co-written and co-directed by her, premiered last year. It was produced by Matavai and involved the cast of over 200 Pacific people and garnering thousands of viewers throughout Sydney. In all her endeavors, Moimwana remains steadfast in her commitment to serving her villages, family, Samoa, and the broader Pacific community. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number nine, representing the Samoa community in New South Wales, Moimwana Safatoa Shweki. O te whātā lo whātū i le paia i mamalu o Samoa ua potopoto mai. Tālofa, tālofa, tālofa lava. O loo i ngoa o Karameli Sarah Brissau. Ua luas fulu li manei o tausanga ma o te sau mai a fioanga o wailele, pausanga, Vai ee, muli vai sa fata, malai la masale a mua i alei pata. O lo o lango lango ina ma losi au e arilei kuture. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Carmeli Sarah Brissau. I am 25 years old. I come from the beautiful villages of Vailele, muli vai. Vaiee, muli vai sa fata, malai la and sale a mua in alei pata. And I am proudly sponsored by the one and only fashion boutique Ari Le Couture, giving you a colorful Samoa. And I am your consistent number ten, Papsai Lava. Karameli, also known as Kara or Meli, was born and raised in Samoa and has always dreamt of being a part of the Miss Samoa pageant since she was a little girl. She has four sisters and four brothers, making her one of nine siblings. Karameli would like to dedicate this special journey to her family, especially her father, Laumatiaman, Laumatia Manu Ringo Purcell and her mother is Itza Purcell. She currently works at Taula Beverages as a sales representative. At the same time, she is also studying a Bachelor of Commerce, majoring in management with a minor in economics at the National University of Samoa. She says her current career goal is to work in human resource, HR, as she considers herself a social butterfly, excelling in collaborating with other people and sharing ideas. Karameli loves to dance, sing, hang out with her friends, oh, and eat seafood. Although she was brought up Catholic, she currently attends Peace Chapel Christian Fellowship in Apia. She thanks God for bringing her to where she is in life, as it is her faith that pushes her to achieve her goals in everything she does. Karameli's message to anyone listening right now, especially the youth, is to have a goal 
and believe you can do it. Nothing is impossible with God. This is a relay couture. Malo <laughs> Yeah, I want to tip a poly. But I love you. Yeah, matter, matter, on a side like Titi, my lover. Ole fa sala launga ala digital Miss Samoa pageant lua filu atolu ilunga ole radio Samoa wa mafayo na awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ala e veni Ole fa sala launga ala digital Miss Samoa pageant lua filu atolu ilunga ole radio Samoa wa mafayo na awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ala e veni Pacific A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Televised by our filming rights sponsor, TV One Samoa. Last but not and communication specialist and community development specialist in the infrastructure and education sectors. At the moment is also the chairman of Angelican Education Mission in Samoa and is a part-time teacher for students at intermediate level, an avid supporter of quality education, education and promoting of cultural appreciation for all children of Samoa for the future, noting that no one gets left behind Moto. Has worked and enjoyed the radio scene. Has worked with 2AP and Radio Polynesia and sometime on TV as well. Enjoying great food and good talanoa, a good movie and a laugh from time to time. Fitness, well referring to walking only now, but mainly time with the family. Please welcome Famausili Chris Bass Solomona. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our main number two judge for our Miss Samoa, our digital Miss Samoa pageant. Lily Olivao Malietoa Thompson was Miss Samoa 1994 and one of the pioneering title holders who was instrumental in elevating the Miss Samoa pageant system with a memorable reign. She is passionate about family, culture intertwined with a work-balanced lifestyle. A professional Siva Samoa performer and teacher who has toured the world promoting Samoa in multiple platforms for tourism. Lili Olivao is proud of her culture and supports credible platforms that encourages its promotion in a meaningful way. Today, her professional career is in finance, property management, and money transfers, Western Union. Logistics, which launched FedEx Express, couriers in Samoa and Tonga. She is currently working with Western Union Money Transfers and consultant for FedEx Express. 
in spite of her many achievements, her most treasured is chasing around her four beautiful grandchildren around the house. Ladies and gentlemen, Lea Fionga, Ya Lilio Levao, Malia Toa, Thompson. Bailoatu Malfaro Tele, Famasino Nu Meratolu. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing judge number three. She hails from the villages of Baibase, Bailima, Malie, Neyafu Ilala Tawa, and Tafitoala Safata, and Lepa. A renowned businesswoman who started from the heart of town, building businesses for businesses. She is the managing director and property manager of Le Sana Lele Business Complex in Saleufi, the Ocean View Complex in Songi, and by Basse Accommodation. Her passion in exploring other business avenues came about 10 years ago, and today she is the managing director of Native Events Hirich and co-founder of other successful businesses, H Super Tires and Jar Civil Construction. She has served in board of directors for government, schools, and state-owned enterprise, holding experiences in audit commit committees and corporate plans, evaluation for SOEs. Amiatu holds leading roles and duties as a chairperson, treasurer, secretary, Sunday school teacher in her Catholic parish of St. Francis Xavier at Baibase, La Fiona Yantu, is deeply rooted in her Anganu Fa Samoa and the role of Tamaitai Samoa in her family. She is a Matai, Tamaitai who has served her family, community and nation proudly and a leading example of successful women entrepreneur in Samoa. Aside from her many roles as a prominent businesswoman, she is also a fashionable lady who enjoys weaving, gardening, dancing, and singing. She is married to Twila Epa Eti Falotoi with five children. She is, ladies and gentlemen, Amiatu Catherine Longo Chuling Falotoi. Sato Famasino Numera Fa, ladies and gentlemen, intru um, introducing our judge number four, is from the villages of Sale Moa and Vinifo. He has worked for more than a decade with the government of Samoa in the Ministry of Women, Community and Social Development. As a project coordinator and as an executive manager for the Policy and Research Division, Fafitai spearheaded the development of national policies and community programs for the empowerment of women, youth, children, and persons with disabilities. He is a cultural entertainer and a musician, and for many years has been a student of the traditional Siva Samoa. He has involved primarily with the Fatsoia Efakasa Youth Group, which has represented Samoa at both the national and international level. Fafetai's lineage are prominent Samoan performers, and custodians of the Samoa creative and performing arts and were instrumental pioneers in the promotion of our traditional Samoa Siva or Fafia Fianga Samoa. Lesusunga ile faife au fa'au lioli fa'fitai is currently undertaking a master's degree at Malua Theological College and is interested in strengthening the discussion, discussion on women in leadership from a biblical perspective. Put your hands together. Bole susunga ile faife au fa'au lioli fa'fitai korea. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may introduce our head judge. Ole fa'a iloina ole tato fa'a masino e fa'a ululua i ole tato ngalwena. Mayaba Atalina Emma Ainu'u Enari made history by becoming the first female governor and chairperson of the Central Bank of Samoa, CBS, since 2011. With 30 years of experience at CBS, she is well versed in various central banking roles, including macroeconomic policy, monetary policy, financial supervision, 
and financial inclusion. Internationally, she holds positions on the Alliance for Financial Inclusion, AFI, board, co-chairs the Operations Committee of the Asia Pacific Group on Money Laundering, APG, and is a member of the United Nations Secretary General Task Force on Digital Financing of the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Mayava Enari, Mayava Enari is also an accredited mediator and holds degrees in economics, banking, finance, international economics, and law. Mayava is a passionate woman on empowerment and in advocating. She actively engages in arts and culture organizations. In addition to her other roles, is a musical recording artist with a deep connection to Samoan folklore and culture. Her musical talents are rooted in a family tradition of musical excellence that spans several decades in the history, in the industry. Lawa Fionga Mayava Atsalina Ainu E Nari. Malo Lava. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our alternate main judge. Well, the role of altern uh, alternative judge is to step in to fill the role of a main judge should either of the main judges not comply with the regulations surrounding any judge during the contest. Mailoatu Malfaro Altele, alternate judge. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing alternate judge, Salma Hazelman. She is the principal lawyer of Hazelman and Associates and a respect figure in the law and justice sector. Yo le aso atu malifa iloa ina o tato pa masino mo tato awards pa pitoa special awards judges. They will be responsible for judging the fashion designs, the Siva Samoa and special awards category of the pageant. Special award judge one to Iloma Inipene Simanu. Tuiloma Inipene is a qualified teacher of Samoa with extensive experience and skills in education. She is currently the Assistant Chief Executive Officer of the Curriculum Design and Materials Division of the Ministry of Education, Sports and Culture in Samoa. Tuiloma Inipene Simanu is a renowned Siva Samoa dancer, composer, and a choreographer from the villages of Falefa and Sabayalefanga. She, she joins the Samoa Teachers Cultural Group while still a student at the Teachers Training College, assisting her dearest friends, the late Tuilangi Ellen Alo, as the lead traditional choreographer. They successfully put together a remarkable show for the Pacific Games in 2007. And the Youth Commonwealth Games in 2015, opening and closing ceremonies she was also the assistant director for the SIT's opening in 2019. She was the director of choreographer for the Pacific Games opening and closing number. Tuiloma Ilipene Simanu is currently the leader of the Samoa Teachers Cultural Group. Okay, and our special award, judge number two. Yo te fia fia la vai fai loa tu il tato fa masino numero lua mo tato awards fa pitoa. She needs no introduction. She has been an influential pillar and sponsor of the Miss Samoa pageant for over ten years. She is responsible for multiple Miss Samoa contestants and two of our very own Miss Samoa winners. She has been the creative force behind every Miss McDonald's family restaurant contestant to grace the Miss Samoa stage. She is passionate about the arts with meticulous attention to the preservation of cultural artifacts and traditions. A designer, weaver, and Samoa handicraft expert, please welcome Kim Kyle. Ladies and gentlemen, special award judge number three, Muriel Louis. Muriel is a mother who will side hustles as a lawyer, fashion designer, and businesswoman. Her love for law and fashion culminated in the birth of Louis and Chang Law Firm and Maunga Louis Fashion Brand, 
a first combination of its kind in Samoa. Most recently, she is the co-owner of a high-end baby shop called Lee and Chow, a homage to the blessings of motherhood and the gift of children. So, should you ever find yourself in need of a rare combination of legal advice, a stylist, a baby products, now you know who to call. Ladies and gentlemen, Muriel Louis. Yes, I'm more a tattoo pharmacy no nam. Leola Afia Naima, I might have to tell to no. Lo yai, to my fat In addition to our esteemed panel of judges, we have our special scrutineers. They are responsible for the tabulation of the judges' scores and preparation of results. Failoa to malfa alon tene, tato scrutinia, numeratasi, ladies and gentlemen, falanae sa anga sita leota, one of Samoa's Fulbright scholars. Sita attended university in Wellington, New Zealand, and, Bo and Boston, Massachusetts. She is a former public servant with the government of Samoa in the Ministry of Finance, the Tony General's Office and the Samoa Audit Office. She is now the Monitoring and Evaluation Analyst with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. For the countries of Samoa, Cook Islands, Niue and Tokelau. Malo Lavasita. Pailoatu Malefalo Alotele, scrutineer number two. Ladies and gentlemen, your second scrutineer for this evening. Rapi Laoliva Ai is from the villages of Satawa, Moata'a, and Lepea. He is certified accountant, a member of the Samoa Institute of Accountants. He is working in the banking industry where he has been for the last eight years and is currently the head of finance at the Bank of South Pacific. Samoa. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for our esteemed panel of judges, Manuia Ato Faiva. sponsors, sponsors, your naming rights sponsor. Journey together with Digicel Samoa. Ole fa salalawa ala Miss Samoa pageant. Lua filua tolu ilunga ole Radio Samoa. Wama fayo na awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ala Eveni Pacific. We also like to acknowledge our Bontu sponsors. Fiji Airways, the official airline of the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant. Samoa International Finance Authority. Samoa Ports Authority. Eveni Carabas. Urban Sounds, Kava Bowl Media. Of course, our Digital Miss Samoa pageant is televised by our one and only TV One Samoa, Televiseo Tato Tanata. We also want to acknowledge all our Balefuyono and Saisa Wo'o sponsors who have made all the possible. National Bank of Samoa, Samoa Airways, Nalusina Transport, Chada, Samoa Shipping Services, Bank South Pacific, Samoa Stationery and Books, Bluebird Lumber, The Edge Marina Samoa, Loina's Design Sanapu, Maria's Healthcare Pharmacy, Samoa Agriculture Store Company Limited, SMI Hardware, Lava Hotel, Tanoa Hotel, Taumea Sina Island Resorts. And we are not forgetting the Ministry of Women, Community and Social Development, the Ministry of Education and Culture, and the Australian High Commission. Yes, not forgetting the support from our families, friends, to chaperones, of course, the communities overseas in New Zealand and Australia. To my Patasio Tato, Ao, Motato, Long Long Ao, Tu, Malang Long Ao, Neto, Vangam, Tau Sangal, Ne, Lua, Filuas, Fumatolu. Well, moving along with our program, up next we have our entertainment for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lao Samoa Dance Group. The Lao Samoa Dance Group is an all-female Samoan dance group based in Oakland, 
New Zealand. The Lao Samoa. Alumaya.
Ese mazi mazi tele, mole lao sa mo oka se mata mo fie au le leyo tama itai. E mo ni lava le tala, e ono me a lava tama itai sa mo e la nasiba. Ya sabali la wo. Ya ai leto e susu ai leto e amata liere tato por kalami e fa ma fa ma lu lu tu lava e fia va o lo o tal sa ili lava ia le tina o si alo lea o fatia lo na ihoa. E lima o na tausana, e ese le ta ma boto, o leo ta mo e mai mau mai le lima o le leo leo, na o mai malana teo ake, te a fai o te o fa a fonga mai fa a mole mole, ia o lo o tu e ia ta te o le malo le malo ma te mai tai. Talo talo, talo talo. Ia okay. Toi fomra tu atu, ta tu ma tu o va peona, o mai fo mai fa na u ia ta tu na fa na witi. I don't want to talk about Penny. But if I'm not to talk about it, I will talk about Muffle. Rofiso, I'm more about the family of Vafo. I will talk about the family of Moyle. I will talk about the family of Moyle. I will talk about the family of Moyle. If I'm not to talk about it, I will talk about the family of Moyle. 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 Plastic waters, yep. Ka ko ka paka. Se fa mole mole lava. Le ta avale fa lua o lua lua noa. Fa lua o lua lua noa. Ole fa sa la lawa ala digital Miss Samoa pageant lua filua tolu ilunga ole Radio Samoa wa mafayo na awinatu ona ole lango lango mai ala e Veni Pacific. Accident with your car. I'm I'm sorry to break the news. Um, so please, if that's your car, please go to the back. Um, the police are waiting for you. Yeah, I let say hello, ma. Uva, I let tato, let tato, bye. Nga olo to fa atali tali uma i le bye. Ngale iye au au. Bole sa wrong category. Yeah, eh, yeah, ma ua le fa alol tele. Yeah, fa atalo fa tuai. Yeah, tato a inga wo ma e ma sani sa moa. Olo o mata mata mai ilunga upenga ta fa ilangi. Hello, everyone. Everyone, please give a shout to all our online viewers. Say hello. They can't hear you. Say talo falaba. They cannot hear you. Talo falaba. Na ko ma itupi. Just kidding. Ia malo la bertapua isa mo poto poto olo to fa pea ona fa tasi mai le nei afi afi. Pasalo le la tato se ia tu le baenga lau tong ia mo mua or tato fa mo le afi nei o le baenga o fa ngo ina o le so wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you our category number one. The sarong wear for the Miss Samoa pageant 2023. The sarong or iau is a two meter of colored fabrics practically tied for wear to the beach. She must be able to swim and is tied in ways that are practical and culturally sensitive to societies. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming contestant number one, Miss Lavash Kotua Tashana Lee Open. From uh, sunrise to sunset, until my Thai Samoa spend the day attending to her family duties, from caring for her elders and nurturing the young ones, but she will always find time to relax and just chill the stress away. The best way is to seek the cool evening breeze of our fresh water pools or the refreshing aroma that the ocean blows inland. Tonight, Miss Lavashka Tour showcases a day at the beach, a simple Thai sarong that reflects the beauty of Samoa's greenery wrap with respect to our culture. Equipped with a handheld woven ato lo miu to keep her accessories in such as a beach towel, sunnies, and sunblock lotions while she out out or swim to cool down. The freshly hand-woven pulolo mew 
or coconut leaves, straw hat. Protect her beauty face and olive skin from the sun's heat. Miss Lavash Tour Sarong presentation. Also, a reminder to our people to always protect ourselves from skin cancer. And in Samoa, we can always find natural protection within reach. Her Sarong presentation also promote the beauty of our rainforests and beaches. Above all, she wishes to remind us all that modesty can be very attractive as well. Her sarong was Thai, styled and put together by her sponsor, Akinese Sowers, and is dedicated to her beautiful daughter, Benella and granddaughter, Holy Ann Jo. Papitai Lava, Miss Lavash Couture, Tashana Lee Obelu. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming contestant number two, Miss Lototau Agency. Moeloto Leula Lema Mai Vito Lia Chalsi Wilhelmina Tula Eba Tia Tia. Wafau Tala Ina Lia Au Au Lata Maita I Lototau Agency. Ole Anofale Ole Onomea. The Onomea Threshold of a Samoan Samaitai. Miss Lototau Agency, manifestation of her sarong, seeks into the spiritual elements of Onomea, translating the Anofale of Onomea, rendering the function of a, sar of a sarong and the action of bathing to find tranquility, to revitalize, to rejuvenate, to brace, fortify, strengthen body, mind, and in spirit. Sarong is from a skin tone palette of colors. It is edged and hand weaved, embroidered in colorful rainbow threads to texture the spiritual relationship of a tamaitai skin and water. The natural dye threads of functions to strengthen her skin sarong and personally the empowerment of her tamaitai Isamoa Mamalu as she ignites her traditional and cultural spirit to bathe into waves of time and change. Finding faith in cleansing purifies, she gathers from her garden of flora and fauna, greeny surrounding to fashion her garland of scents. Hand-picked, pressed, and adorningly hand-stitched by her elderly aunts, the scents of Mosooi, Buasamoa, the auntie, her favorite, the Tewila, and the bird of paradise, are her natural perfumed oils. Ole mawaina ole faatua tua, ile faamamaina, wayai sui, mayai, lona sio sio manga, e fatuai, lana pale manomi. Wasui eona tinama tua. Manongi Moso Oi, Buasa Moa, the Aute, and favorite, Olete Wila Malemanulele Paratiso, Wana Swa Umanongia. As a wearer of the sacred Malu, Miss Lototau Agency illustrates in prints and motifs the spirit of her nature and the spirit of her pattern where floating from the skin embedments they rejuvenate in water. Yea, the Abia Yosetasi la e ina le malo fie. The Tau Sala Lotta Tau Agency. Wea Maman Wina le Angang Olona Si Omanga, Natura, Maleanga Tai Mane, Olona la e malo fie. Ole Maman Ole Bui Buina. Ona aina malona lonto ifale. Wa ope opea mayai lona fa moena. A ano ina ia fa fo wina lona malosi. Lotto no. Moe lotto ula le mamae sara. Illustrates the bar threshold. The sacred mamalu. A relational space. Ba feloai. Of a tamaita isamoa. In the action of bathing. Manifestation of her pure, wholesome in body. Mind and spirit. Watau masuasua lona lotolu. 
wana namu su e su e manongi i fuma lanu la au i tsuma nga i fanua ua au au wai e tsama i tsa i samoa this lotatau agency saran was constructed by the contestant and the CCS School of Fine Arts Museum in collaboration with Susana and Belenato Liufa. Papetai Lava, Moeloto Ululemai, Malo Lava. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number three. Miss Tane LLA Creations, Helen Taufayu Bera is solo. Miss Tane LLA's Creations Wrong is painted with three beautiful colors depicting the linkage of mankind to the environment. One, yellow, represents the beginning of a growth of any human being, the importance of breastfeeding, the initial source of food, essential nutrition, for any infant, recommended as it offers many health benefits for infants and mothers, building a stronger bond between mothers and their children. Two, blue is associated with the sea. Our forefathers relied on nourishment. In the past years, our people were lean, strong and healthy. Indeed, the sea surely contributes to healthy living. A healthy living, a healthy balanced diet, blue represents serenity, peace, trust, and tranquility of the being. Green optimizes nature, the very essence of life, the color of growth and health. Think of nature and see green in all its glory and its beauty, the green vegetation and farm which no more people have and continue to rely on as a source of income. Working the land and selling the harvest locally, exporting green, promoting vegetables as an essential part of our meals for good health. Healthy environment, healthy living, all natural. Samoa. <laughs> Lalile, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Tainan Lay Creation, Malop of Tai Helen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number four, Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters, Miracle Afili. Samoa. Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters is wearing a white sarong, hand painted with orange fish and healthy corals representing a healthy ocean environment. The blue spots are an artistic interpretation of a vibrant and abundant ocean ecosystem. The white fabric represents the white sandy beaches in the heart of Polynesia, where everyone wants to visit our shores because of the cleanliness and purity of Samoa. The blue circles symbolizes the 2023 International Week of Deaf People, where the theme is a world where deaf people everywhere can sign anywhere. It also represents the International Day of Sign Language in September where the theme is Sign Languages Unites Us. Both events aim to unite the world, its citizens, communities, and societies through a blue light. The color blue has been used by the World Federation of the Deaf since its founding in 1951. And the blue ribbon has been used as a symbol of deaf communities work over the centuries for equality in society and recognition of their national sign languages. The orange fish symbolizes happiness and optimism, strength, lights at the end of a tunnel, good luck and prosperity. The red fish symbolizes passion, intensity and emotion, while fish in general are often seen as symbols of abundance 
fertility and transformation. Altogether, the combination of symbolism and metaphors represents the complexity of life. Orange is also the key color of the United Nations Unite to End Violence Against Women campaign, a multi-year effort to prevent and eliminate violence against women and girls around the world. The Unite campaign has proclaimed the 25th of each month as Orange Day, a day to raise awareness and take action to end violence against women and girls. As a bright and optimistic color, orange represents a future free from violence against women and girls. Orange Day calls upon activists, governments, and UN partners to mobilize people and highlight issues relevant to preventing and ending violence against women and girls, not only once a year on 25th of November, but the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women by Every Month. Miracle Sarong showcases a young Tamaita'i Samoa advocating for the inclusion of all young Tamaita'i with disabilities in Samoa. Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters Sarong was designed and constructed by our local Samoan designer Tifa Naralen, Tuitui Olenato Aitele, Saifoloi, and the team. And my se pati pati tele, molenate ma itai loto tele, pa bear, pati pati, nangana pa atanga, pa itai lava. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number five, representing the Samo community in New Zealand, Cherish for Manu Manaya. Miss Samo New Zealand is beach ready in this orange sarong, feeling for Samo's beautiful, warm, and comforting weather. The orange color is reminiscent of the sun. The light colored fabric is light for coziness and comfort when hitting the sandy beaches of Samoa. Church's color is a true reflection of the vibrant energy and the spirit of sisterhood she has felt with her pregnant sister since she arrived. Sorry, pageant sisters since she arrived. The experience has given her a sense of joy and optimism. The green hand printed flower and traditional designs are a bold reminder of how the Miss Samoa pageant brings out Cherish's creativity individually and confidence to be up here on stage. The knee length one piece sarong is tied across the waist and knotted as a one shoulder to accentuate Cherish's Samoan curves. The back is draped to give a modern flair to the sarong while still keeping it respectful and modest. Importantly, wearing this orange sarong signifies Cherish's desire for personal growth and positive change during her time here with the Pageant Sisters. Miss Samoa New Zealand Sarong was designed and put together by Tapu Nuubi Seo Louis Thompson of the Thompson's Bridal Couture. For Taite Lava, Cherish, representing the community in New Zealand, Cherish from a new man I young. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Contestant number six, Miss Jan Samoa. By Lay Von Dinglish. <laughs> Miss Jet Samoa Sarong is inspired by the 2023 Year of Youth, which was recently celebrated by the government of Samoa through the Ministry of Women, Community and Social Development last month. The orange color of her sarong represents the optimism and energy of our youth to be bold and creative in their talents. Her sarong is simply tied for wear to the beach and in ways that are practical and culturally sensitive to our societies and the Fasamoa. As Violet releases the outer part of her sarong, it reveals a cross symbolizing God 
as the source of strength and creativity of our God-given talents. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10, it reads, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. This verse signifies a strong message that we cannot cultivate and develop our talents in order to prosper without our faith and trust in God. It also speaks to the journey of Jed Samoa, where faith has been a key pillar of strength and inspiration of its slogan, where little things matter. In highlighting our Samoan youths, Vai Le Sarong is dedicated to the celebration of youth talents in the different areas of sports. The images of her sarong features a few of the various sports where Samoa is represented. These include weightlifting, boxing, soccer, basketball, volleyball, and tennis. That's a wheel of flowers on her sarong and headpiece represents Samoa's very own national flower, demonstrating the pride and joy of our, of our youth to represent our nation internationally in the sports arena. The Tewila also represents strength, power and resilience of our people. Finally, the Tewila on Vaile Sarong is a dedication to our Tamaita'i Samoa and the theme of the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant Onomea wa mata ina le mata mofie, male mamalu le tamaita isamo. Tonight, with her sarong, Miss Jan Samoa hopes to inspire, inspire our youth to set sail with God in chasing their dreams and aspirations. My lay sarong was designed by Jessica Christie Artong, founder and managing director of Jazz. Printed by Science Studios and put together by the Jazz Samoa team. Mahalo lava faptai baile. Mahalo watu malava tele to my title va number 52. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number seven, Miss Enna's LA, Silima Chiaia. The sun, sand, and sea. Siliva is dressed to impress and is excited for the beach. Siliva's sarong displays a representation of what our beautiful Samoa is all about. The blue of her sarong depicts the color of the sea, one of the most essential parts of our way of life. Samoans have always taken pride in their seas. It has become our source of living and a form of income to so many. Siliva, being a Tamaitai from Le'ai and Le'tai, fully understands the value of the ocean and all that it holds. The blue also portrays Samoa's beautiful blue skies. Samoa has always been known for its lush and green environment. As shown on Siliva Sarong, you can see Samoa's tree of life, a tree that has been around for many generations famous for being versatile, starting from its leaves to its roots. On her sarong, there is an image of a Tamaitai Samoa with her ola, a Samoan woven bag, on her way to collect food and resources needed from our natural surroundings, whether it is from our beautiful land or the blue ocean. In her bag, you will find different seashells, which she will use to create different handicrafts, such as necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and much, much more. This job is not for the weak. You have to be strong, brave, loving, and patient to complete her sarong. Siliva wears a white Aute Samoa on her left ear, signifying purity as a Tamaita'i Samoa. As one of our famous Pacific artists once said, the strength of the Pacific woman 
is as strong as the base of rocks. Sculptured around the shorelines of the sea standing the test of time, she leaps on far beyond this life. We are capable and just as our ancestors believe. Designed and put together by Vincent Pesamino. Put your hands together for Siliba Siae Sarong. Lava Siliba. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number eight. Miss Abia Insurance Company. Nico Lingana Sarong concept is called the healing mana within. It is merely a depiction of the connection that our women have with Mother Nature that enables one of their roles as healers or taulasia. Back in the days when we didn't have any hospitals, we had our mothers and women who were gifted with the ability to read and understand the healing properties of each plant and how to prepare them and to which illness that each one is for. Our Samoa Maitais were gifted with the healing mana, which some women's gift can go beyond sensing danger or even being able to connect or talk to the dead or dark spirits. Nicolina Nicolina Sarong Kala selection pays homage to Mother Nature and her gift of the greens and the native plants we have on our islands that are a source to the healing abilities of our women. The gold prints depict the mana within, not only within the plants, but also within our women and their abilities to channel that mana through their bare hands and out to heal our people. As Nicolina parades the catwalk tonight, her sarong is practically tied in a way that allows her to have fun at the beach after a long day of healing Laofia, Makake, Toala, and also Fapunipoa, to name a few illnesses. Printed by Eneliko Tangaloa, tied by Pola Saitua Beyonce Fa'ailo of the House of Soonalani. So Samoai, Lao Sui Tauva, Nu Meravalu, Mita Maitai, Nicolina, Jun Akui, Miss Apia Insurance Company. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number nine. Miss Samoa representing in the community in New South Wales, Moimoana Sapa Toa Swanky. Moimoana Sarong is a testament to enduring significance of water, a life giving force for Samoa and the entire Pacific region. Her Sarong encapsulates the essence of water uniting us with our past, present, and future. In Samoa, the ocean is deeply rooted in who we are. Anna Lakisoy, a gifted and renowned Samoan artist, transformed this essence into three original oil paintings translated onto fabric. Alan's vision depicts 
powerful stories shared by Moe Moana, celebrating cultural pride, genealogy, and environment. Allen's oil paintings have been printed onto fabric to create this sarong. The first portrait captures Moe Moana and the Matavai Safuyane mountain tip. Her great-grandmother is a descendant of Matavai and this land is deeply sacred to her. This mountain Matavai serves as the source of water, nurturing Safune and filling the Mataolealelo pool, the land origins of the Sina and the Eel legend. As Moimwana unfurls her sarong, the iconic Mataolealelo of Matavai Savai emerges, water trickling and cascading into the pool and Laksua's intricate artistry intertwines Samoan patterns with water, mountain, streams, and forest, a visual tribute to Moimoana's heritage. Within this masterpiece, Moimoana draws strength from revered Samoa women like Sina, Nafanua, and Salamasina, as well as contemporary female leaders who carry their legacy she stands on the shoulders of giants, gleaning lessons for our future from their enduring wisdoms. An eel wrapped around a coconut tree symbolizes our inherent connection to the earth and all beings. Albert Wendt's word echo and sentiment that Oceania nourishes our spirits defines us and fuels our creativity. At my core, I work as a cultural arts tutor at Matavai, my family's culture center, a sanctuary for the Pacific diaspora, especially young minds in Western Sydney. Named Eye of the Water, Matavai fosters culture, history, belonging, traditions, and art. Moe Moana embodies the essence of Oceania, connecting islands and cultures. Each island adds to her tapestry of knowledge resonating with love, honor, humility, respect, service, Moimuana's veterans and accessories strength who face storms but emerge resiliently. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for contestant number nine, representing the Samoan community in New South Wales, Moimuana Sapatoa Shrenki. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number 10, Miss Arile Kotua and Miss Karameli Sarah Purcell. This evening, Miss Arile Kotua, Karameli, steps onto the stage in a graceful tie of the customary ear lava lava hand printed with beautiful hibiscus on black landscape the monotone color being symbolic of power and sophistication Caramelli's elegant tie twists around her neck and secures tightly around her waistline to provide her comfortable swimwear for the day Wrapping around her tie to complement Caramelli's figure is a decoration of multiple hibiscus flowers. This bold and delicate flower is well cultivated around the Pacific Islands, 
carrying a purifying and healing energy. In this respect, the different colors of the hibiscus flowers each have their own significance. Red is historically associated with sacrifice, courage, and caring for the wounded. For example, the Samoan Red Cross organization who provide aid for those in need. The yellow is representative of caring for victims who suffer from all kinds of abuse. Here, we honor the Samoa Victim Support Group, SVSG, who advocate for our victims of domestic violence. The color pink is a calming color associated with love and kindness like the Samoan Cancer Society, who brings awareness and educate our women in the warning signs of breast cancer. And finally, we have the white, which is a symbol of peace, representing our Samoan churches and spiritual leaders, the prayer warriors of our beautiful Samoa. Tonight, Karameli Sarong is inspired by each of these groups, bringing awareness for all Samoans with this message. Good courage is worth more than gold and silver. This sarong was designed and hand printed by Fashion House, Arile Couture. Ladies and gentlemen, your contestant, Miss Arile Couture, Carameli Sarah Purcell. Calling upon all our contestants. Yeah, but I want to tell you, Sala, to my ita ito a sepulu. Mola oto savali. Say to a silam yo, my yaya tato. Pamasino. Your contestant number one, Miss Labash Creation. Your contestant number two, Miss Lotata Agency. Your contestant number three, Miss Dana Lele Creations. Your contestant number four, Miss Moore Signs Interpreters and Miss. And our contestant number five, and with you, our contestant number six. Calling upon our contestant number seven. And of course, contestant number eight. Miss Samoa, New South Wales. Oh, sorry, contestant number eight, Nicolina. And contestant number nine, Miss Samoa, New South Wales. And contestant number 10, Miss Carameli Purcell. Malato ye ao ao, the sarong category where. Mr. Bati Bati Tele Samoa Sweet Salva, the Digicel Miss Samoa Pageant, Lua Afe Lua Tolu. All right, thank you, ladies. Not forgetting our sponsors, we'd like to thank our sponsors for making this event possible tonight. To wing our sponsors, your naming rights sponsor, Journey Together with Digital Samoa, Samoa Tourism Authority, the CEO, management, and staff, Native Events Hirich. 
Up next in our program, we would like uh, to call upon the Tao Dance Academy for their entertainment this evening. Well, the Tao Dance Academy is an all Oakland-based performing arts academy which aims to teach boys about Samoa. Or tato pa wifiang ala soa tunay, or tato au siva, may new sila yao kilani, let the Tao Dance Academy. Tu ba tasi o to au, pa fai lo toi, ili the Tao Dance Academy. The Tao Dance, so we are. Well, not forgetting uh, our viewers from overseas through the, our live stream. We'd like to thank uh, TV One Samoa for providing the service and for sponsoring this evening's event. Um, Ikoke, um, this year marks 33 years of our Samoa Tewila Festival. Um, we've come a long way, and with all um, the COVID times, um, we have. Ole fa salalonga ala digital Miss Samoa pageant lua filua tolu ilunga ole radio Samoa wama fayo na awina tu ona ole lango lango mai ala eveni Pacific. Oye peyo na afia i ala atunu uye malolangi atoa ili koviti lua fisu mariva. Sa afapea ona au siya ifo esa moa de record tolu tau sanga o se e mai se te mai tai ili te fingal neyo la leyo sa moa ala ngata ili o la leyo pasifika. Pa salo leo sao ni mai ili te ato fafifianga mai ili te tau. Introducing to you all the way from the island of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Please welcome the Tower Dance Academy, Suya!
無理無理無理無理無理バッツやバッツやはいはいはいはいタイガーバッファロースウェア
So I brought to my wanted to tell dance academy by Akilani New Zealand. Well, of course, I want to uh, acknowledge our sponsors for making this event possible. For two sponsors, PG Airways, official airline of the Digital Miss Samoa Pageant, Samoa International Finance Authority, Samoa Ports Authority, Ibenica Brothers, Urban Sounds, Gamma Bo Media, and especially the Ministry of Women, Community and Social Development, the Ministry of Education, Sports and Culture, and the Australian High Commission. Pasalo lewa sa huli may isa tato pagfiyang alas so ay tupatasyo to aw papayloy papayloy at tuay ile aw siba sa may tayo ano fali. The next performance is an exhibit by the Tamai Tai Anufale from the Anufale Mentorship Program. Nurturing future of Tamai Tai leader to protect, promote, and preserve our cultural heritage. Choreographed by the late Miss South Pacific 2002 Manamea Apelu Schwager and Miss Samoa 1999, Dr. Taralina Aee Ate. Tamai Tai Anufale, so we are. Samoa, the Ono Mea Ai, Waato Ai Mata Ina, 
I'm not a man who's a man who's a man Acknowledging our sponsors and our partners, National Bank of Samoa, Samoa Airways, Malusina Transport, China, Samoa Shipping Services, Bank South Pacific, Samoa Stationery and Books, Bluebird Lumber, The Age Marina Samoa, Loins Design San Napo, Maria, Maria's Healthcare Pharmacy, Samoa Agriculture Store Company Limited, SMI Hardware, Lava Hotel, Tanoa Hotel, Taumesina Island Resort, Pakitai Lava. Masalo leo sa Saudi Malaysia tato pa vifanga lefe finei. Tu pa tasi o tato au. Pa pelo e tu au i le au siva ale tu i pa sala sala dance room. O le fa sala launga ale Digicel Miss Samoa pageant lua filua tolu i lunga o le Radio Samoa wa mafai o na awina atu o na o le lango lango mai ale e Veni Pacific. That's how the dance group enables individuals with performing arts passion to nurture and grow talents within them by providing space, time, and positive encouragement as a dance group family. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tui Masala Sala Dance Group. So we are.
เป็นเป็นเป็นเป็นเป็นเป็นเป็นเป็นเป็นเป็นเป็นไปทำสมัยโมเลตุยมาเชิญสลัดแดนชู
Pagsailaba. It's a rain, my yaba sa la. But it's over. I will see my nephew at him until saw. Anyways, we'll move along with our program this evening. Our second category. Tato, say that to in the Bayangal or Lua Lau Togi or Tato Tobanga Le Pefinei or the Bayangal Fai Noina or the Puritasi. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number one. Miss Lavash Couture, Tashana Lee Opelu. One of the essence of the Samoan to my tai is shown through the way she wear her putasi. Tonight, the sky meets the ocean is the theme of Miss Lavash Couture's putasi. The three pieces design showcase a merge between the humble original putasi with sleeves and today's expectations. The first look represents the older generation. The outer part of her top is created elegantly in a simple yet artistic way. In today's fashion generation, the politasi has evolved tremendously, yet not losing its meaning to our Samoan women. The top honor our grandmothers and past female leaders, the original inventors of our first politasis as she removes the outer part of her pulitasi. It will reveal the modern take of this creation, yet not forgetting our past. The top right side is adorned with hundreds of tiny black pearls, all hand-stitched, reminding us of the pure beauty and elegance of our water and the need to preserve and keep them clean. It is then embroidered with afa or coconut sinet as a reminder of the strength and bravery of a Samoan woman. The left hand side of her pulitasi folded pieces with an elegant diamond shaped hand, folded elegance and voice of our Tamaitai Samoa. The pulitasi print represents the blue sky above Samoa and the calm waves of our beautiful shoreline. The complete pulitasi from head to floor represents humility, beauty, love, elegance, and respect. Designed and put together by Tito Schmidt Stowers of La Vasha Tour to honor his beautiful mother, the Basi in heaven, whose legacy is the namesake behind his label, La Vasha Tour. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, I give you contestant number one, Miss La Vasha Tour, Tashana Lee Obelu. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number two, Miss Lutotau Agency. Moe Loto le una lema mai vito lia chausi hun mi natu la epa tia puletasi mau. The mau is the name of Moe Loto le una lema mai's design puletasi piece. It's designed to resemble the fashion influence that the colonial nations came with. This Pulitasi is specific to an event that occurred in Samoa during their time under the colonial power, New Zealand. A dark incident in New Zealand's relationship with Samoa occurred on Saturday, 28th of December, 1929, known as Black Saturday. It was caused by police trying to arrest a Mao member that erupted during a Mao parade along a pier's waterfront to welcome home two members who had been exiled in New Zealand, killing 11 Samoans, including Tupua Tamasese, Nealofi III. The red resembles in the blood, spilt of those men. The mua on her ear, Sulu, resembles the people of the Mao and all Tangata Samoa. As she takes off her blazer, it uncovers the beauty and one of Samoa's Mea Sina Siapo. The Siapo, also one of the Tama'itai Samoa, 
Nafa or Atiyuti in the days of old and still today. The corset shows the femininity of Eitama Itai Samoa's silhouette and her beauty. The flower lace pattern on the siapo symbolizes the women of the Mau who took their stand when our men were forced into hiding. The bow tie represents all our men who paved the way to our independence. Our old Samoan way of living was harmonious. We were in harmony with each other and with our natural surroundings. Moilotos Puletasi is a representation of our old way of living, an equal balance of our people. She is adorned with a precious Ailao shell necklace, earrings and armbands designed and intricately carved especially for Moiloto by Bessa, by Bessa Tomiliko of Bayusu. Her Puletasi was designed by the Moiloto herself and overseen by the Faletua Susana Masunga Elefaiti Alpha Aulioli Belenato Liufau and the students of the Congregational Christian Church of Samoa, Neulu Moengafo School of Fine Arts in Malua, and sewn by Filipino Soul. Mahalo Faktai Moiloto. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome contestant number three, Miss Tane Lele Creation, <laughs> Helen Taufayu Vera Istolo Lemisio. <laughs> Tane Lele Lele's attire is made of pink bridal satin material. Decorated with the yellow and green color of Mosooi with coconut shells, a combination of modern and tradition. The Puritasi reflects notion, pride, Pacific Island femininity, lineage, and continued conversation of identity. A reflection of our mothers, aunties, women within the Pacific community who have continued to express their elegance in how they present themselves. For many mother cultures, the color pink has become the color of fem femininity in all its forms. Pink portrays health and beauty for any lady. Pink evokes the feelings of peace, compassion, and love. Pink is usually more subtle and cheerful, gentle, casual, and approachable. Pink is, of course, an attractive color for romance. This means that the more feminine a woman is, the more likely she is to wear pink in fiction. It's also why it's thought girls appreciate pink things more than other colors. Furthermore, in our Samoan community, our Tamaitai represent pink as a sign of cancer awareness and health of women and thus our Samoan community and other countries are able to come up for the celebration of Pinktober every month of October, every year. The neck garlands with a yellow green color of a mosoi are a symbol of welcome, a sign of celebration and beauty, and always a bestowal of aloha and respect and the connection we have with our environment that surrounds for which gives us life and provides us with every necessity. In essence, these beautiful colors combine and its unique characteristics highlight the important role and strong belief that Samoan women represent life, hope, and the pillar of her family, community, and nation. We continue to work together in unity. We can achieve more as there is strength in unity, like that of our Samoan culture, portraying our friendly and approachable people, our hospitality, and the beautiful of any Samoan woman or any of strong Pacific woman. The beauty that makes them unique, despite the modern influence, Samoa's beauty remains and is depicted in its culture as symbolizes by the coconut shells sewn on the attire. Samoan culture is traditional 
generosity and hospitality which attracts others to visit our shores to experience firsthand its beauty and sometimes to find a romance the love that they have long searched for yes Samoa has that effect on anyone that visits its shores they will leave satisfied and appreciative of the experience knowing that our women here in our community have been able to stand up and let their voices heard Samoa Lalele unique not found in any other. Please, ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for Miss Sydney Lake Creation, Helen Taufayu Vera Istolo Lemesio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number four, Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters. Miracle Afele. Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters Pulitasi presents deep insights in the journey of Miss Miracle Afele. The elegant cape features seven colorfuls, seven colors of chiffon, representing the seven colors of the rainbow and highlights the love of God. About 15% of the world's population are persons with disabilities. The Cape's unique cut is inspired by the Samoa National Advocacy Organization of Persons with Disabilities, the Nua Nua Olea Lofa's logo, where the rainbow represents the, right, the diversity of people with disabilities, combined with the love of God to ensure the voices of persons with disabilities are being heard. The black fabric is symbolic of our national campaign, Manuli Fale, Manui Fafo. Talatalanga, e fafa ilele mole manu o tina mata ma itai, fa nao mata nata e yai, a afianga tu mau. To shelter and protect and end violence against women and girls, children and persons with disabilities. The color black symbolizes the solidarity, commitment, and unity representing the key features of the campaign, such as partnerships, accountability, and advocacy. The black fabric also represents the association of sign language, sign language interpreters in Samoa and their efforts to bridge communication between the deaf and hearing persons. The hand painted by Ba'a Flower Heliconia complements the Puletasi and embraces the theme of this year's pageant, Onomea, Wa'ato Ale Mata Ina Malema Malu Ole Tamaita Isamoa. The Vaipa'a flower, or Heliconia, is one of Samoa's most treasured flowers, and it's a crucial decoration for many of our social and cultural events. A Heliconia, or Heliconia, plant provides habitat and food for a variety of animals, including birds, insects, and small mammals and our important component of tropical ecosystems. The bodice of Miracle's garment features a big beautiful vaipa'a symbolizing her journey as a deaf young tamaita'i from Savai trying to break the barriers that other young tamaita'i with disabilities are facing, such as discrimination, access to services, and equal opportunities. Heliconia or Heliconia flowers have a deep spiritual meaning associated with positivity and happiness. They are known to attract positive energy and bring joy and cheerfulness into one's life. Additionally, Heliconia, Heliconia flowers are believed to symbolize strength and resilience. Their ability to withstand harsh weather conditions and still bloom beautifully is seen as a metaphor for overcoming challenges and adversity in life. The Vaipa'a is thus a strong symbol of the strength, resilience and nature of persons with disabilities in Samoa. Miracle wears the Vaipa'a to declare that persons with disabilities in Samoa matter. Miracle's whole politasi represents unity, solidarity and beliefs in her values nothing about us without us a slogan used to communicate 
the idea that no policy should be decided by any representative without the full and direct participation of persons with disabilities. Miss Samoa Association of Sign Language Interpreters, Pulitasi Evening Wear was designed and constructed by a local Samoan designer, Tifa Narelin Tuituyo Lengatu Aitele, Saifoloi, and the team. Amaise Bati Bati Tele, Molita Maitai, Ya Miracle Afele. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming on the stage, contestant number five. Representing the Samoa community in New Zealand, Cherish from Manu Manaya. The Politasi worn by Miss Samoa New Zealand symbolizes the dispersed Samoan communities living abroad. The light blue hue embodies the serene water surrounding our shores, reflecting our ancestral homes, culture, and heritage at their essence, the heart of our Samoan identity. A delicately embroidered bonnet and top mirror, the exquisite, exquisite ocean corals sculpted akin to the gentle undulation of waves. These waves, like nature's embrace, deliver nourishment and substance to our communities. The deep blue shade of the Ielabalaba symbolizes the vast expanse of the ocean, much like the navigational journeys of our ancestors who ventured into uncharted waters in pursuit of new land and future progress. The, chif the chiffon sleeves, when draped like a scarf, draw inspiration from the Tolo bird, which courageously leaves its nest to explore new frontiers. When the scarf is unwound and develops a potus, it signifies the embrace of cross-cultural knowledge acquired through exploration that is brought back home to foster the development of the country. The fundamental essence carried by Miss New Zealand's Potasi captures the very essence of our people, just as we depart from our the pictures, shores in pursuit of progress. It mirrors the resilience of our interpret navigators, commanding the vast oceans, expanse, it embodies the diligence we invest in our diaspora communities, similar to the bird that soars, Eleletoloa and Ma'au Ileauvai. We remain deeply there to our roots, our homeland, and our people, for they constitute the very core of our existence and identity. Miss Samoa New Zealand's Potasi was designed by Sua Clara Pasina Batafai and put together by Sa Elisara Manu. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number five, Miss Samoa New Zealand, Cherish for Manu Manaya. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number six, Ms. Jad Samoa by Lei Von Dinglish. <laughs> Ms. Jad Samoa's Pulisasi is inspired by one of the world's most essential creatures, birds. Birds are seed dispersers for plants that provide us with food, medicine, Timper and recreation. With this inspiration, Miss Jan Samoa Pulitasi tonight is dedicated to Samoa's national bird, the Manumea, or the unique tooth bill pigeon found only on our shores. The flowing stream of different colors of her Pulitasi imitates the colors of the Manumea bird. The bodice of her Pulitasi displays the Manu Mea bird taking flight. Flight is the bird's most important adaptation as it takes them into an environment that most other animals can't reach the sky. 
Sabay ba'a or bird or paradise flower as her headpiece represents heaven on earth, reminding admirers of the spiritual significance of living on earth. With her politasi, Ms. Jan Samoa hopes to inspire the youth of today to spread your wings and take flight into new horizons like our ancestors. If elele manu ay ma'aw yolato wofanga, this Samoan proverb refers to the migration of birds to habitats that enable them to survive and thrive. Their migrations require them to adapt to new surroundings. In the same way, our ancestors journeyed across the ocean in search of knowledge, prosperity, and growth. This journey together goes hand in hand with Digicel's recent campaign of our journey together to take fight as individuals in order to grow and advocate as community for the preservation of our natural environment as well as the Manumia. Miss Jet Samoa's Pulitasi was designed and put together by Jessica Christy Atom, founder and managing director of Jet Samoa. Am I supposed for Miss Jet Samoa? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number seven, Miss Enas Ele Siliva Siaya. Politasi is a traditional two piece attire worn by our beautiful Tomaitai Samoa to any occasion, whether it's wedding, salfai, funeral, work, or just a simple village meeting. Siliva's politasi is blue. The different shades of blue depict trust, loyalty, and most importantly, freedom. Our ancestors fought for the right to be emancipated, emancipated from colonizing powers. They sacrificed their lives and it was their sacrifices that have brought us to 61 years of independence. The sleeves of the Pulitasi are made from chiffon, a material that was generally used to symbolize wealth. Tamoas were not considered financially wealthy. However, our wealth was described through the relationship we built and the communities we served. The love we had for our people was our form of wealth. The Pua Samoa signifies positive energy, luck and prosperity. Its fragrance and beauty is believed to bring abundance and happiness into the homes, attracting every to my Tai Samoa, making it a popular fashion accessory. Being a Fife House daughter with no brothers around, a Punitasi is a normal go-to attire. Therefore, it should be flexible and comfortable so that she is easily able to carry out her duties, whether it is light duties, like the Tai Ngao de Sua, or helping with heavy lifting altogether, Siliva's Politasi is a representation of her life. Less is more, simple, yet comfortable. This piece was designed by Enna Swagger of Enna's LA and put together by Nora S. Roma. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for contestant number seven, Enna's LA, Siliva Siaya. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number eight. Miss Apia Insurance Company, Nicolina Jun Akui. The concept for Nicolina's Pulitasi is called the Toala Fanao, which refers to the birthing womb of a mother. Nicolina Spulitasi is a celebration to the child-bearing role of a Tamaita'i Samoa as it is one of the most difficult yet miraculous role of all. The role of a Tamaita'i in did plays significant part in the development of families, societies and nations not only in Samoa but the whole world. This role of a Tamaita'i 
merely is giving birth to a new life, which continues the circle of life, the growth of family genealogies, and building generations after generations. The color purple represents the huge sacrifice and the pains one mother faces when carrying her offspring in her womb until she gives birth to a new life. The life itself was still forming in the darkness of the womb, the DNAs as they rush through the blood and veins contributing to the construction of a new life. The green color represents life and growth, the dawn of a new day, the blossom of a new flower in the morning dawn as it awaits the first sunray of the day, the joy within the eyes of everyone as they patiently await the arrival of new member of the family. The complicated woven and asymmetric cut of this couture piece is a depiction of the concept from a Sofa'i's creation perspective. Designed and put together by Mama Pearl Basi Sheikh of the Sofa'i's creation. Yes, it's a Maise Bati Bati Tele, Molitato Suita Vahanu Merovalu, Miss Apia Insurance Company, Nicolina Jun Akui. Miss Apia Insurance Company. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on stage, contestant number nine. Moe Moana Shreki. Moe Moana Skolitasi is a tribute to the air that we breathe. The very breath that keeps us alive. Across the world, the impacts of climate change are felt the hardest by communities who are least responsible for carbon emission, including the Pacific Islands, whose communities are on the front lines of this climate crisis. It carries a message that tugs at our hearts, a plea for our world to wake up to the threats of climate change. Designed and put together by internationally renowned Samoan fashion designer, Afa Alu. Afa Alu uses the movement of fabric to create this masterpiece with the ivory colored base and laser cut fox leather hibiscus flower. Afa alludes to the beauty of Samoa that is at stake. The design uses horse hair to illustrate the movement and flow of air around and within us. The light brown horse hair portrays the air pollution. The colors of the outer flowers, which are the yellow, orange, and brown, signifies the changing of the climate and the damage the human race is causing the planet. Adorning her head, the turtle shell, Telu, is a traditional Samoan accessory that completes the look of a true Tamaitai Samoa. Moimoana Spuritasi is like a shield, a symbol of our fight against the effects of climate change, reminding her of her experiences at COP26 and acknowledging the work of all Pacific leaders who came before us and paved the way. The air we breathe is ancient, flowing through the vastness of the ocean. Just like the wind shapes the land, our stories and traditions shapes us. We're not powerless. We're warriors, carrying the legacy of those who came before us. When challenges come, we'll rise up again and again and again just like the waves that keep coming to the shore. So, 
Samoa. This Kulitasi is a reminder that the air we breathe, the stories we tell, and the love we have for our culture make us powerful. May we always see ourselves for who we truly are and step into the bright, right that we come from greatness that defines us is how we rise after falling. Samoa, you are my armor. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number nine, Miss New South Wales, Moimoana Safa Toa Shrenky. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome contestant number 10. Miss Arile Kotua Karameli Sarah Prasal. Tonight, Karameli embodies her ultimate feminine persona as she graces the stage in her striking pulitasi. The colored silk accentuates the style while the bodice of her pulitasi perfectly enhances her curves. Her pulitasi top is fashioned with a wide, low neckline, giving a long and composed silhouette. Karameli's pulitasi is hand printed in LA, highlighting the mamanu of our heritage. This is a dedication to the Samoan women who continue to keep this art from alive as they are pillars of our culture. Wherever in the world of Samoa goes, we recognize our mamanu and adorn ourselves in it with pride. The pearl white color represents peace, humility and kinship, which remains strong in Samoa and is an ode to the duty of a tamaitai Samoa. Oia ole pae male auli, ole feangainga lo na the chiffon material, which sophistically wraps on the front of Galameli's corsage, delivers the uniqueness of this look and signifies Karameli's faith and trust in God as she navigates life as a young Tamaita'i Samoa. She takes up her role like her great grandmother, Yulia Lauulu. Presently, 101 years old, in showing love and honor to her parents, providing for her family and fulfilling the expectation she carries. This Puletasi was designed and hand printed by the fashion house Arile Kotua. Yes, it might say, but it's a bit of a little 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 bit of a Well, we'd like to call all the contestants for the final walk for display of Pulitasis for our charges.
Thank you ladies for say love I talk to to tell about to school. The part part is mine. We also want to acknowledge all our Palifuyono and Sai Salo sponsors who have made all of this possible. National Bank of Samoa, Samoa Airways, Alucina Transport, Chara, Samoa Shipping Services, Bank South Pacific, Samoa Stationery and Books, Bluebird Lumber. The H Marina Samoa, Loina's Design Sanapu, Maria's Healthcare Pharmacy, Samoa Agriculture Store Company Limited, SMI Hardware, Lava Hotel, Tanoa Hotel, Taumeasina Island Resort, Faktai Telelaba. Our next entertainment tonight, Tahimana is a family-run of professional fire, a fire dance club in Auckland, New Zealand. The group is made up of up and coming youth with occasional guest appearance from the original adult fire dancers. Tahimana members come from all over the Pacific. Ole Fasalalonga, Ale Digicel, Miss Samoa Pageant, Lua Filua Tolu, Ilunga, Ole Radio Samoa, Wamafayuna Awinatu, Ona Ole Lango Lango Mai, Ale Eveni Pacific. From the villages of Tomapu Apua, Si Umu Lalamanu, Si Fanga, Sawano and Mota. Mota is 17 years old. And Adirne is Morty. They bow now to for Siva Aki is the community around Auckland. So we are.
Le pat pat mai. Terminé la tour, il va la tour. Il va se faire. I would like to call back our 10 contestants to the stage for their final walk and, of course, our Toa for tonight's formalities. While we await uh, the arrival of contestants, we'd like to thank our Po2 sponsors, Fiji Airways, the official airline of the Digicel Miss Samo Pageant, Samo International Finance Authority, Samo Ports Authority, Ebeni Carruthers, Urban Sounds, and Dog Professional Audio, Kamabo Media, and especially the Ministry of Women, Community and Social Development, the Ministry of Education, Sports and Culture, and the Australian High Commission. Yeah, while we wait for the girls to um, um, get ready to come up for their final walk, and our Tawalunga, our twin of sponsors, your naming rights sponsor, Digital Samoa Journey together with Digital Samoa, Samoa Tourism Authority, CEO, Management and Staff, Native Events and Higher Age. Yeah, my bala awa tuloy tato sui tawa to sepulu, mula to sabani. Tubatasi tato au, papa peyo itu, tato sui tawa sepulu morning to sangalua pelo smerto.
Just a reminder, uh, Heilani is also an author with her book uh, out, and of course you can find that at SAP. Before we call some of the main prices for the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant 2023 is through the official airline of the Digicel Miss Samoa pageant, Fiji Airways. The 2023 Skytrax Awards, Best Airline and Best Airline staff in Australia and the Pacific Islands. The winner will receive one return ticket from Apia to one destination anywhere in the world on the Fiji Airways network, Hong Kong, India, Japan, Singapore, United States of America, wherever Fiji Airways travels, the winner can go. First runner up will receive one return ticket from Apia to the United States via Honolulu, Los Angeles, San Francisco, or Vancouver. Second runner up will receive one return ticket from Apia to Asia, either Singapore, Hong Kong, or Tokyo. This time, our third runner up, one return ticket from Apia to Australia, either Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, or Canberra. Fourth runner up will receive one return ticket from Apia to New Zealand, either Auckland, Wellington, or Christchurch. Isn't that amazing, ladies and gentlemen? But it doesn't end there. All consolation prizes recipients will receive one return ticket from Apia to Pango and return Samoa, proudly sponsored by Samoa Airway. In addition to that, the winner will receive 5,000 5, Thailand cash prize. First runner up, 4,000 Thailand cash prize. Second runner up, 3,000 Thailand cash prize. Third runner up, 2,000 Thailand cash prize. Fourth runner up, 1,000 Thailand cash prize. And there's more. Inspired by the Onomea Productions Anofale Mentorship Program, the Australia High Commission, through the direct program aid, have secured 10,000 Thala to support a leadership development initiative by the winner for the duration of her reign on the Onomea Drive, Ele Olefale A Ole Anofale. This has all been made possible by Onomea Production in partnership with the Digicel, Miss Samoa's Miss Samoa sponsors and partners. Yeah, Fafitai Lava Tato Tau Sala, Mola Oto Taimi. Oh, thank you, ladies. Just a reminder, folks, we still have entertainment left for tonight, but uh, our uh, formalities have been concluded until Saturday, which is the second part and the final part of this year's Finish Cell Tosala Pageant. Thank you very much, ladies. A big hand of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for your brave 10 contestants and also acknowledging all the designers Thank you. 
by Amwa Mwole Le Oletato Digital Miss Samoa uh, pageant 2023-2024. If I can call upon our entertainment tonight, our last two entertainment, Lena's Poly, Poly Extance Academy, which was launched last Saturday, 2nd of September, 2023. Their director is Lina Le Abai. And after that, we have our Manga Dance Group, which was first established in 2018 in New Zealand. Our second branch is now in Samoa, and third in Australia. And that will conclude the entertainment after the Lina Poliex Dance Academy. Yes, so we are Lina. Ole fa sala launga ala digital Miss Samoa pageant lua filua tolu ilunga ole radio Samoa wa mafai ona awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ala Eveni Pacific. Ole mafai lava ona ta mai le pese ole fa fia fia na ta mai tai Lina's Poly X Dance Academy. Amai se pati pati. Ole ole le sa 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 mai sai ole luma na ile o sa moa e fa 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 mai lava ole aiti na si va sa mo. Ole va ya so ole ne yo sa sa wa ngano sa sa a ngano e fa manatsu wa ila wa ngama a le a. Pa na wio le luma na e.
But what's my Molilina's Polyax Dance Academy? Yo, la fa, my atul tatu fa fifianga ele au manga dance group. Yeah. 
Yola Manga Dance Group, where my my Ausitalia, El Tova Mama, my lover, Yawal Lato Sao, or it's a wheeler. My sister Tato, did you sell Miss Samuel Pageant? So we are.
of Tsai, our Manga Dance Group. Here Samo I, you were Tato Tau, no Malisi, Lesi Uyo Tato, Paul Kalami, but for Tai Tail, Lava Lita Puai, but for Tail Lango Lango Mai, yet Samo for your look for a pena now put a porto to a field or a kelope, your mato to fat of Tai Yatu. If a man who lured to forty polyasa or to fat of a fonga mai, the Tala forty will let out a man little love for fonga anga. Ia manu awe fali uto finangalo. Fa fetai lava le lango lango mai. Ia fa fetai atu tato vasengo fa masino. Ia elefa ingo fia la uto ngaluenga. Ia mau fa uma tuai le tato por kalami le nea fia fi. Ia aipe lava na tato a matai le atua. Ia ole a tato fa ingo se tato. Ia tato fa musika pen fa ona tape atu lava ia Rudolf. Ia ole a uta ita ina tato se tato po po. If I am my little wafiafi, who am I? Alamato for a moe moe linea fiafi lea tua. Fafetailo away my Fafetai ta lenisa e for a my little nata. Ole amato ta api. Pui pui my Malutia my our mato to a four year to your mato eye. Faman wheel a mato muff tang a linea fiafi. Ole mato talo le alo tuat eluat elatu ilo swa fa Yesu, Amen. Ia manuia tele le afi afi tato toe fe loa ile ile aso to anai ile aso Ivo se tema ile Jim one pa fe tai lava. Ole fa sala launga ale digital Miss Samoa pageant lua filua tolu ilunga ole radio Samoa wa mafayo na awina atu ona ole lango lango mai ale eveni Pacific.